Hello guys, BitTruth here. Best Bitcoin wallet in 2021 to 2022, so let's begin. The first wallet is Mycelium. I divided this video into pros and cons for every single wallet that we're going to showcase. Best for mobile users. Out there in the mobile app store, you're not going to find many cryptocurrency wallet options that are reputable. Higher reputation than others, just as I mentioned. It is open source, anyone can check the code, custom fees, you can choose the type of fees when sending Bitcoin, so fast or slower. Hardware wallet support, so you can connect your Ledger Nano S or X or a Trezor. A Built-in exchange, so you can convert your coins around. Oldest wallet, I think it's from 2012. Uh, the cons, it is mobile only, so you cannot find it, find it on PC. Uh, security risk compromise from other applications, so if you have other applications that compromise the security of your phone, it, is a con it will compromise my seal. <coughs> Harder for beginners, uh, I have to admit its UI is not that simple. Out of sync wallet, this is a problem that uh, you have to keep opening the wallet regularly. You cannot just leave it and it's not going to be updated into the blockchain. That is going to be a very huge hassle. Advertisements, uh, it's a very annoying to have advertisements in a cryptocurrency wallet. Never had them before and never want them to be. Crowd sell issues, they try to release Mycelium coin, but it has not been successful so far and the sale has went silent back in 2017. I'd rather focus on the issues more on the more than the pros, so uh, you know, take that as you will. The next wallet is Electrum. Pros, uh, custom fees, same as Mycelium. Old wallet, same as Mycelium. Open source, so the code is open to the public, anyone can read it. Advanced, fe advanced features for Bitcoin veterans, so multi-signature. You can add more permissions to a single Bitcoin wallet, which is very cool. Hardware wallet support, so you can connect your hardware wallet. Now, it is too confusing for beginners, not simple UI. Only Bitcoin use, so you cannot add any other altcoins. PC only, so there is no um, copy on your phone or in the App Store or Play Store. No customer support. It's non-custodial, you take care of your cryptocurrencies, and that is it. There is no other way. Uh, next wallet is Exodus. Exodus is a, one of uh, old wallets. I think it started back in 2014 or 2015. The pros are built-in exchange, variety of cryptocurrencies, not hacked yet as a company or a wallet. In terms of a wallet, the wallet is secure as long as your computer or PC is secure. You can find uh, the application and software on both PC and phone. Now, the biggest security risk is closed sourced software. If you cannot read what is in the software, for a cryptocurrency wallet that is a very big red flag and uh, what if that closed source software has some back doors that allows hacking or access to your cryptocurrency wallet so this is a very there's a thousand questions around that you cannot set any custom fees so the transaction fees are going to be much higher it's to their benefit not yours cloud storage uh, you know there is no cold storage option so you might want to rethink about using wallets Lumi wallet is another option I've uh, been seeing recently. It's uh, easiest for a beginner. Uh, it's just as signing up for an email. PC plus phone, so you can both access it via PC and phone. Open source software, non-custodial, so you'll have to take care of everything. Now, web only on PC, That's I think it's a big security risk that there is no software. Uh, especially it's just a web page where you have your wallet it's just a thing that I've a thing I've been thinking about fees more than coinbase so uh, in terms of sending bitcoins going to be much more expensive than other exchanges or wallets you might want to think about that ledger hardware wallet this is my favorite wallet so far for any person who has more than a thousand dollars invested in cryptocurrencies the pros cold storage highest security out there open source software so uh, everyone can read the software customer support so if you have any problem with your ledger in terms of functionality or shipping or you know these uh, small things ledger live is beginner friendly so I, I have to admit I've been using it for a very long time very easy ledger company has been hacked in July 2020 thousand question marks around here the company has been hacked releasing phone numbers addresses names about the people that bought these wallets now luckily my name is not there even though I have three ledger wallets because I don't the idea is they were all for promotion purposes I never bought it I don't have my name on their database so the ledger company hack as a company it has been hacked as a database of information however the ledger wallets are still safe 
uh, in terms of wallets uh, they have not been hacked but there have been a lot of phishing attempts so you have to be wary about that limited wallet storage only on nano s so you can get the upgraded nano x bluetooth feature issues on nano x i don't think the bluetooth feature is a very important feature so i guess you can disregard it as a whole i think you can only use it for a, a phone maybe because you have to connect you can connect your ledger with your phone but there have been some issues here and there not a very big problem Next wallet is Trezor Wallet, another hardware wallet, cold storage, simple UI, no hack database. However, the wallet itself has been cracked in 15 minutes. That's bigger security risk than a ledger wallet, which has, you know, you have to do a lot of research on that and to think a lot if you really want to buy Trezor Wallet. And it's more expensive than ledger. So Trezor, I've never been really a fan. And I have links down in the description if you want to buy Ledger. There's a lot of options, Ledger, Keep Key, Trezor. So, what wallet is best for who? Less than $1,000, use Exodus. If you have less than $1,000, realistically, in my case, it's nothing. If you have less than $1,000 in cryptocurrency, it's not even in danger. So use Exodus or some software wallet out there because that's not a lot of risk. But if you have more than $1,000 invested or a big amount of money, per se, you'll need a hardware wallet no matter how cheap you want to go you have to get a hardware wallet you cannot go without a hardware wallet if you have a lot of money investing in cryptocurrency special when it comes to tens of thousands of dollars or something more than a thousand dollars so keep that in mind so ledger wallet is the best candidate currently in my opinion if you only have a phone i guess and less than a thousand dollars and you're just choosing this as a hobby more than an investment Go with mycelium there are other options like exodus out there but mycelium i think it's the best for you to get used to how cryptocurrency wallets actually function for uh, more of a easier option because it is one of the oldest wallets that have has existed for a very long time many people use it especially android users if you're an apple user i'd suggest you go with exodus or just a simple exchange like coinbase or binance won't hurt because you don't have much invested anyway so it's not going to be worth it anyways there are many cryptocurrency wallets that were not featured in this video there is something like more than 50,000 cryptocurrency wallets up to date i think and they are not the best based on a multitude of factors not every cryptocurrency wallet is worthwhile you have to do a lot of research and you have to be a lot of careful with every word you speak of this cryptocurrency wallet is a very sensitive topic and the cryptocurrency wallets that i showcased is on the best information available this is the best that you can find so thank you for watching this mini video on the best bitcoin wallets for the next few years this uh, video will not be updated till the next few years why because there's not much change unless a new cryptocurrency wallet comes out something more secure than cold storage wallets maybe cold storage 2.0 so thank you for watching see you next time don't forget to subscribe goodbye